Christianity is different than every other religion on the face of the earth. Every religion, put in a nutshell, is if you practice righteousness enough, then God will give you the right to become one of his children, except for the gospel. The gospel says no. There is no amount of righteousness you could ever practice. The sin problem is way too deep. You needed Christ to come, live your life, die a death that you deserve, be resurrected, and in him you are born again. You don't practice righteousness to get born again. You practice righteousness because you have been born again. That's the difference in the gospel. And so what we have here is a real tricky deal that we got to make sure we get straight. I don't know if any of you guys ever heard of VeggieTales, uh, okay? Um, VeggieTales came out in the 90s. By, by, by 99 and 2000, it, well, it, historically, it is the most successful, grossing, faith-based kind of product, children's product, any of that, that has ever been, okay? Uh, and in 99 and 2000, it outpaced every secular competitor, including Pokemon, uh, including Barney, okay, Barney the dinosaur, which I'm not sure you want to hang your hat on, we beat Barney, but anyway, okay, they beat Barney. And, uh, but by the early 2000s, the parent company of VeggieTales, a company called Big Idea, was in financial trouble despite all the success, and they ended up filing bankruptcy, and the owner and the producer, the, or, or uh, the creator, actually, of VeggieTales, he had some time to sit and reflect, and if you've ever seen, ve- and I'm the same, I ain't making some big thing about VeggieTales, okay, but all I'm just saying is if you've ever watched it, it's very, it's very much morality based. Hey, this is what a Bible story, and this is good morality that comes from the Bible story, and that's not necessarily wrong, all right? But the totality of Veggie Tales was that. And the owner, the creator, he ended up saying in those months after the bankruptcy, when he reflected on what he did, this is what he said. He said, I fear that I spent the last 10 years of my life teaching kids to, teaching kids to act in, Christian, in a Christian behavior without actually teaching them Christianity. Because what you can do is, you can say, be good little boys and good little girls. Why? Because that's what the Bible says and totally miss the gospel. And totally miss the motivation of all of it. And have this backwards and tell people, hey, practice righteousness and then you'll be born of him. And that produces morality for a little while. I mean, the problem is eventually it'll break or eventually it'll lead to so much pride that overshadows everything anyway. What the Bible says is, no, have confidence because you're an abider. How do I become an abider? You got to be born again. The old you has got to go away and the new you has got to come in its place. God has got to do something so radical in you. If you just needed tweaks and reforms, I promise you Jesus wouldn't have endured the cross, okay? 